Hello, my name is Sigurd, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be covering Disgaea RPG and the best ways to farm HL, the currency in the game. Now, HL is a valuable commodity. You're going to need a lot of it to progress in this game. Whether it's Nether Enhancements or uh, Awakening, you're going to need it to condense all the fodder characters that you end up with and, uh, and power up your characters to their maximum potential. So, in order to do that, you're going to need to farm a lot of AHL. And here's the best three ways to do that. First, we're going to go to the HL gate. So the first and easiest way to get HL is the HL gates. Now each of these gates you can run three times based on the level of your characters. As well, uh, you can bring bonus units to increase the amount of HL that you get. Serafina and Hogmeister being two great ones offering 10% bonus each. As well, you can stack the Dark Assembly buff for an extra 50% bonus to HL for the next 30 minutes. All of this combined means that you can get anywhere from 10 to 50,000 HL uh, in the stages that I've cleared so far. And uh, beyond that, you can spend keys to unlock further runs of your better chambers. However, these keys are valuable. You can only buy so many per day, and uh, you might not want to spend them on your HL chambers when you have other things like EXP chambers and re reincarnation materials that you're going to need as well. So. Um, definitely the quickest way to go. You can earn easily a couple hundred thousand HL in the span of 30 minutes, which will definitely get you back to where you need to be. But what happens when you're out of HL chambers? For that, we'll ch check out the events. Starting with the latest event, the Snow Rice Cake Festival, you can actually go into the exchange shop and get HL directly with your event currency. Now. You may find that this is not the best route to go because the event currency is valuable. You can use it to get an H or uh, an any printy and some event characters, better things that you might want to spend your event points on as well. It's very expensive uh, on your AP to the amount of HL that you're getting. It's nowhere near as good as the HL chambers. For example, the best stage that you can farm. 20 AP only gives you 3,000 points, roughly. So you're not going to get the best exchange here. But if you're in a bind and you need HL quickly, this is definitely one method you could use. But what happens if you're out of gates and there's no event, or you've already spent all your event points on the event? What can you do? Well, that's where we go to the item world. So the item world is actually infinitely farmable. And by that I mean it requires no AP, and every 10 levels that you run in the item world you'll encounter a item world boss. This boss can drop another item, so you'll never run out of items to run, and you'll never run out of AP because it doesn't require any. So with the item world, you're able to infinitely farm items and then sell them back to the shop. Now the highest rank items in the game are rank 35. And these items sell for roughly 12 to 13,000 HL per item. Which means if you can run maybe three or four of these an hour, you can earn 36k or more an hour. Now it doesn't sound like a lot, especially compared to the uh, HL gates where you can get maybe 50k from one run. But once you're out of AP, you don't really have a choice. And this has an added bonus. The item world gets you better leveled equipment for your characters, so you need to do it anyway. And you can bring in carry teams with a couple of AoE heavy hitters and some other characters that you want to gain some, some uh, skill experience or uh, weapon experience. For example, I've been using the Prism Rangers because I want them to level up their friendship power skill for uh, one of my teams that I use them on. and. It's great because you can gain that EXP without having to spend AP to do it. As well, you're gaining player experience, and uh, player experience, I mean like the rank of your care of yourself. And every 10 levels you can unlock more uh, maximum AP, which is always helpful. So in the end, item world is the way to go. If you're out of HL gates and you need something else to do, now, some people might say that you want to hold on to leveled items for Etna's Resort, which is a feature coming in the future that allows you to uh, enhance items 
build up their rarity level as well as uh, enhance your innocence to be more powerful. But we don't know when that feature is coming, and there's a limited amount of inventory space for both weapons and armor. So you might want to sell off your normal quality items and then maybe hold on to the, the rare and legendary ones for Etna's uh, resort when it comes out. But that could be six to eight months down the road, so who knows. I think that's pretty much everything. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions of better ways to farm HL, let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, remember to uh, give me a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Well, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found this video helpful. This is Seagird, and have a good day.